Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing this uh, <laughs> box. <laughs> uh, so let's get to it. Let's see what's inside. Of course, I can use a knife to do this, but this was much easier to, uh, to handle. And of course, I have to make sure that I don't uh, cut my fingers with it. My chisels are sharp. There. Okay, so we have bubble. More bubbles to play with later on. I think that's what it is, wrapped in bubbles again. I do get something that looks like a battery. I do get a cable. And I do get some sort of an AC adapter. So I think you might be guessing what that might be, but let's keep the suspense going. Put those back and unwrap the last piece. Looks like it's very well packaged. Even I'm having trouble taking it out. Ta da! This is my brand new old computer, or I should say second-hand computer. Uh, I usually don't spend uh, money on brand new things. I like them tried and true and tested. Uh, so this is the Dell Precision uh, M6800. Uh, it's a workhorse of a PC. Uh, it has been souped up a little bit. It has a one terabyte solid state drive on which the uh, operating system is installed. Uh, also has a two terabyte um, additional hard drive in it. And about 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, it is also Intel i7 um, quad core processor. So it is uh, quite good in terms of power and um, how should I say it, performance. Uh, the reason why I got this, uh, well, technically I have the predecessor of that computer and that is the, what I have right here is the uh, Dell 4700. Uh, I have been very pleased with it. I have been doing my uh, website programming on it. I have been doing my CAD, I have been doing my video editing and it has been performing quite well. Uh, so I thought a little upgrade is in order and the reason why I got the uh, M6800 is that it can handle more than one hard drive in the actual computer. Uh, so I was thinking of doing some experiments with a dual boot system. So basically one hard drive being Windows, the other hard drive being Linux and having to uh, switch between the two at the time of boot up and then having a third hard drive to actually store my files. Now, I have been reading that uh, this computer can handle uh, a third hard drive, but I'm not sure if it, that's at the expense of the uh, DVD or the CD-ROM. So I have to do a little bit more research, uh, but uh, worst comes to worst, I can have an external hard drive to be my third drive where all my files would be stored. 
So that way, even if the operating system crashes, I can still have my files safely outside of that system and move it to a different computer, for example. Uh, so what's going to happen to my old uh, Dell? Um, I was alluding in one of my previous videos about having uh, the SnapMaker hooked up to a PC and into one of my cabinets. So probably I'm going to uh, hook up my old PC to the uh, SnapMaker and have a dedicated computer just for that. So let's uh, hook it up and boot it up and see what it does and how it does it. I'm going to move the camera to be uh, at a different angle and then we'll see how quick the performance is at boot up. I'm going to have my phone have a timer on it and see how fast things are going. There is no shortage of plugs in my workshop. Okay, I'm just gonna change the camera. So here we are, I'm about to uh, hit on the power button, but first let me uh, set the timer or the stopwatch. Stopwatch. Okay, so we can see it right here, or I should bring it close to the camera. Okay, I think this is good. Uh, so I'm gonna do press the start button and then press the start button there. Obviously, the stopwatch is going to have a few seconds advance, but we can simply remove a second or two. Um, So I haven't uh, really done, uh, powered that uh, computer before, so this is real time as it's happening. Okay, so everything is powered up and it is less than 40 seconds, <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, so yeah, so my next experiments would be to uh, uh, experiment with a dual boot system. I'm going to take a smaller hard drive, probably about uh, 250 gigs uh, solid state drive, uh, install Linux on it. Uh, and then it's supposed to recognize that there is already a Windows system uh, attached and basically have the option to uh, dual boot the system once uh, everything is installed correctly. Uh, and then uh, see how it goes, but so far this is looking good. If you've liked this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also follow me on all social media channels. The links will be in the description. Uh, and also make sure that you hit the bell so that you can get notified the next time I upload a new video.